Hi everyone, how are you today? Okay, so Sunday is a very special day. Sunday is Mother's Day. And that's a day we all set aside and make our moms feel special. Our moms and grandmas feel really special and loved because moms work really hard to take care of their children. So I have a Mother's Day book I'm gonna read and then I'm gonna show you something you could do for your moms or your grandmas. Okay, the title, that's the name of the book, is Clifford's Happy Mother's Day. And this is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. The author of this book and the illustrator, remember the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the pictures. Well, the author and illustrator is Norman Bradwell. Bradwell? Bridwell? Okay, so let's read about Clifford's Happy Mother's Day. Okay, I've got to close that for now. Okay. When I was little, my family lived in the city. My dog Clifford was born in the apartment next door. He was the smallest puppy in the litter. See Clifford? And that's his mama. Is Clifford little or big here? He's little. Because he was so small, his mother took special care of him. That's me, Emily Elizabeth. One day, our neighbor called us. He wanted to give me a puppy. He told me to choose one. Okay, see this first picture is Clifford and his mama. And what's his mama doing? She's cleaning Clifford. And moms and dads, they give their their sons and their daughters baths. And they teach them how to give themselves baths when they're older. And in this picture, look, Emily Elizabeth is picking out a puppy. Now, which one is Clifford? What color is Clifford? Red. Red. Clifford's the red puppy. He's the smallest here. You know which one I took. She picked the red one. When Mother's Day came, Clifford and I wanted to get something special for my mom. What do you think they're going to get for Clifford's, I mean for Emily Elizabeth's mom? A puppy. I don't know. What would be something special that you could get? Or Chocolates. Hold on. Chocolates. What would be something special you could get or make for your moms? I want you to think about it. What is something your mom might like? Okay, so Evie, look. Daddy took us to the candy store to get her some chocolates. Yeah, you did. Moms like chocolates a lot. While I was choosing chocolates, Clifford saw a ribbon on a box of candy. See, he saw the ribbon. He wanted to play with it, didn't he? Clifford loves to play with ribbons. Oh dear, what happened? Did he pull the ribbon and the ribbon knocked the candy off? We decided to buy the candy that Clifford chose. Daddy paid the candy store owner and we went on to the flower shop. Moms sometimes like flowers, now some don't but some do. Miss Tiffany loves flowers. I picked out a nice bunch of flowers for my mom. So if you was gonna get your mom some flowers, what kind would she like? Would she like roses or daffodils or moms? Um, right now there's all kinds of flowers outside. My favorite is roses. What color flowers do you think your mom might like? <gasps> flowers make Clifford sneeze. Sometimes they do other people too. 
He had a big sneeze for such a teeny tiny dog. We decided to buy the flowers he sneezed on. Look what happened. When he sneezed, he, he blew some of the petals and flowers over. Now we had enough presents, but I still needed a card. Daddy said I should make the card myself. That's a great idea. Moms love homemade pictures and cards. We could buy paper and decorations in the store. picked out some paper. Clifford chose some decorations. See, she's picking out paper. And what kind of decorations did Clifford pick? Look at what he's picking. He liked the heart decorations. I went to work as soon as we got home. Clifford watched me closely. So I want you to look and see what Emily Elizabeth's doing. She's cutting stuff out. She has glue, she has pictures of flowers. What do you think she's in? Oh, and look here. She's gluing the flowers and the hearts and the butterflies on paper. You could draw that, you could find stickers, you could um, draw the flowers like she did and cut them out and glue them on something else. Clifford came a little too close. What happened? He got the glue on the flower stuck to his nose. He couldn't see where he was going. What a mess. <clears throat> I unglued Clifford, but my card was ruined. Now I had to start all over again. How would that make you feel if something you worked really hard on was ruined? Would you be so sad? But it would be okay. You could do it again. No problem. See, Emily Elizabeth, she's not upset. She says, that's okay. I got another idea on her card. She put, I heart mommy. That means I love mommy. And I signed the card with my handprint. See, she had her hand and she painted it. And she put her handprint on there. That's another fun thing you can do. I forgot to close the top of my paint, my stamp pad. What happened? Did Clifford get in it? Oh, Clifford put his stamp on there too. That was a mistake. What would Mommy say when she saw Clifford's paw prints all over my sweater? Oh, no. The next day, we gave Mom her presents. She loved them all. She told me not to worry about the sweater. It can be washed. She knew just what to do. We took it next door to Clifford's mother. My sweater fit inside her basket. Now, she had a Mother's Day gift, too. So, they gave Clifford's mom the sweater that Clifford had gotten his paw prints on. That's another idea you could do. If you could give your puppy dog's mama a sweater with paw prints. Even though Clifford is all grown up now, he's still his mother's little puppy. See, this is Clifford's mama, and she's little now, and Clifford's big. But even when you're grown up, your mamas will still love you forever and always. Okay, so in the book, they, Emily Elizabeth and her dad went and, and bought some candy and some flowers for Emily Elizabeth's mama. You don't have to go buy something, but that would be some ideas if, if your mom or dad wanted to. Right now, we're not going out and about a lot, so, that might be something you can do later if you wanted to. But you can make something at home. You can find a whole bunch of stuff and make something. Okay, so in 
the book, Emily Elizabeth made a card. That is a wonderful idea. Moms and dads love to get cards and stuff from their boys and girls, from their kids, especially homemade cards. So I'm going to, you can draw however you want to, but I'm going to show you how to draw a flower pot with three flowers on it. This is called a directed drawing. And it's just something fun you can do. It helps you to um, think about first and second and next and last, and it helps you to follow directions. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a piece of paper and to start off with a black crayon. Hold on, or a pencil. Nope, not right now. Okay, so. Can you go um, close the blinds? Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start, let me turn it over so that thing's at the top. You're gonna start at the bottom and you're gonna make a pot. So you're kinda gonna draw a rectangle or a square. And I'm gonna give you time if you're gonna do it with me. Next, you're gonna draw a little bit longer rectangle. And this kind of looks like a flower pot. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw two lines up and then two lines kind of slanted and two lines slanted this way. That might be too big. Okay. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of swirl. And you're gonna make another little swirly spot and then a dot. And that makes a flower. And you're gonna do it again on this side, a swirly. And then on the inside, another swirly spot and a dot in the middle. And then on this side, you're gonna make another swirly spot. And then another swirly spot and a dot. And that's it. So when you're finished with that, you can get some colors or some paint and you can paint your flower pot and your stems and your petals of your flowers. And then if you wanted to, you could try to sound out the words like, I love you, mommy. Or you can have daddy or someone help you write, I love you, mommy. And they would love it. That would be a great idea for a Mother's Day picture or a Mother's Day card. So go make something for mom and make her feel really special and give her a great big hug on Sunday. Okay, see y'all.